Okay, so today we'll discuss how to use that will you. Okay, what is that will you class? Uh, I suppose that here this word, of course, without will you is just like an uh, SMS API for messaging. Okay, so you can use will you in different what you call this programming um, uh, language. Languages. You can use what Java, you can use Python, okay, you can use Ruby. Um, at the same time, of course, you can use also the PHP, okay. But uh, our target is to use the Python, okay. All you have to do is to have your Python installed in your program, Python installed in your computer, okay. That's the one requirement. So you need the Python uh, new version. And at the same time, of course, we'll be using the pip command to install the will you what um, API or what we call this library in our computer. But again, you need to also to have your uh, no, your account in the Twilio website. So let's get start. All you have to do is to open your uh, search, what? Twilio. And then, of course, um, sign up to create your account. So that is our target for today. Okay, let's start. So I have here my Twilio um, account already so this is not the tell you dashboard this is my video dashboard i have already set up my phone number so you can your credit uh, your, your your credit uh, what you call this credit number uh, your credit balance or your trial balance here is 14.37 dollars this, so this is a trial version so i have my number set here okay now i have the account inside and on uh, the off talk i, I want to really <laughs> display those things for security purpose same time we have here the dashboard and I, I mean the um, the graph for the programmable voice and programmable messaging. So you can see your usage right here in this um, menu. So app stands for application program interface. And of course, our target here is to create a simple application to send our um, message to our um, phone. Okay. Now uh, we have here my first video account. Okay. I haven't yet, uh, uh, you know, um, expand that will you um applications okay so these are the things you can use the settings right here okay to have uh tweak your really account and i have here the ip credentials so these are my credentials right here so this is um hidden at the moment i don't want to undis it no for <laughs> security purpose okay um let's go back to our dashboard okay so this is my dashboard main dashboard to my twilio account First is to set up your number. Same time, you can buy the number if you want. Same time, Pili will give you your own, um, uh, what you call this, your own uh, account SID and auth token key. So we just click this thing. Okay, let us click this thing. Or maybe you can go to SMS PHP Quick Start or whatever programming um flavor you want to explore. Okay, so these are the th these are the activities that I have done so far. So you have three um. Uh, outgoing epi sent to my number all right so this is my number i set this number you see that my twilio account so i have still the 14 dollar um what you call this money <laughs> in my account okay so now um how to start with python okay but you have to check first our python right here so i, have, I am now in my console right here so if you want to check your Python, well, of course you need first to check if your Python is working by using the Python. Okay. At the same time, well, of course, no. Um, you need also to install your Python. Uh, let's go back right here. Install. You need to install the Twilio API library in your Python program. So how to do that? So you need to use that the pip. What? Pip. Install Twilio. And of course, all you have to do is to press the what? The enter key. I have already installed mine, so that is your task to install your own uh, Twilio. Okay, now if the Twilio is already installed, what is the next? And let us test if the Twilio is working. So this is now the Python console. So all you have to do is to what? Type what? From uh, Twilio. Okay, Twilio.rest. Okay, and then we use what? Import one of the uh, functions. Oh, this is so small and then we use the client you press the enter key if things will be uh, consummated and of course you see this prompt well we need to say that will is working okay let us try and check okay now back to our twilio dashboard so i have your twilio dashboard right here let us check this tryout okay let us try out let's check that 
So I will be sending a number. I'll sending a message to my cell phone. Okay, so that's the, the, the purpose of that. Now, what is what is the next uh, procedure? Like if uh, we can send a message to to to, uh, to a number, so we have to use that try SMS. All right. For example, I have here the the SMS for messaging service, but I you need first to create your own um SMS service. Okay, how to do that? So you can just go somewhere here and create your uh, messaging service. So this is my messaging service. I have already created my own. Okay, this one. And this is my target number. So I can use curl. Okay, curl is just like, you know, um, creating shortcut types of um, of codes using your uh, uh, Twilio, uh, Twilio address or Twilio, uh, what do you call this, uh, macro address. You have also your account, your account name and, of course, your um, authentication number. All right. So for the body of the text, well, of course, I can send, okay, uh, this is a great, uh, great thing for SMS technology. So this will be my message, okay, to my phone, okay. Now, if I go to Java, automatically, this is translated not to Java, all right. This is an example code for that. So you can use, this. I, like, I like this because for one thing, you can include the Twilio um, library here and, of course, use some of the Java functionalities. Same thing with Ruby and PHP. For the PHP, you need to set up your composer, composer to create your composer um, items and your composer JSON. So that's part of it. And uh, you can store all the numbers in your arrays and of course, or maybe you can create your SQL and call that SQL and fetch that convert to the plain text and put that in our array and send that to your clients. That is cool, right? And of course, your Python. So this is not a Python program. So this is now my account SID. At the same time, all I have to do is to copy this. Okay, so this is it. So this is the great thing for SMS technology. Okay, and I will copy this thing. And after that, well, of course, I will go to my Python program. Okay, where's that? I'll just paste it right here. Okay, I'll paste my program right here for the Python program. Okay, this is it. So this is now my program. Okay, I think I missed something at the top. I think this is not com complete. Uh, complete. Okay, I missed to uh, copy the portion from the top so I can use show authentication or okay or not I can copy everything copy okay I will again go back right here I don't know why is it that this thing was not copied from the top okay so I'll go right here and uh, adjust uh, my okay now this is the okay okay now this is it so I will save this file file then save us course I will save this and for save this to let's say I will save this to uh, SMS um, 101 okay something like that so this is it now I'll check this using my um, console in Python okay I will go back, back right here so what will happen okay I will check that and then um, type what the SMS 101.p okay so this is now the program so the next thing I'll I'll uh, do is to compile this okay so I have to clear this first again my code right here so type SMS uh, SMS 101.p so there you have it I have here the accounts is ID and already uh, what you call this activated my uh, uh, token key okay now I will clear this thing and let's check if this thing will run okay so we have to run the program let us check again and then run the program okay so that's it so we have the program running so this is the SID number okay so that's all for now if you are if you like this video uh, please don't forget and of course uh, share and uh, subscribe in this channel thank you so much